Hey, this is Max Power and welcome to Daisy Overpoc. Uh, just going to have a quick look at how to uh, get some money starting, I guess. Um, how to get, get some coins flowing so you can start to build your base, do whatever you want to do, buy helicopters, buy vehicles. Uh, I guess one of the hardest things is just getting that start on a new server. Now, this is on the CCG servers, uh, but I guess it will work on any server. This server uses the coin currency, so it just makes it a bit easier, but it will work on servers that don't use coins as well. So basically, the first thing we want to do is use our toolbox to deploy a bike. There it is. And this actually uses up our toolbox, but they're cheap to buy later on, so that's fine. Next thing you want to do is basically go to the area that you want to loot. Now this should work in pretty much any area. I'm just going to show you a, a good area to do it that's close to a trader and is reasonably safe. Uh, but as always, nothing's really safe in Daisy Overpock. So what you want to do is you want to head to um, up towards Berezino and Lumber Mill. It's going to take you a while to get there. But um, it's going to be worth it, <laughs> depending where you spawn, obviously. Uh, but once again, you, you can choose another another location. The reason why uh, we want to go to Berezino is because there, there is a trader right there that's really easy to get to. And there is also some good, uh, reasonably high-value loot areas that spawn some good guns and stuff that will sell for a bit of money. Okay. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is on the way to wherever we're going to go... Uh, Berezino in our case, is we want to stop and get some um, some loot on the way. Now, because we start off with uh, basically no, I can't check it here. Because we start with, well, a really crappy bag that can't even fit one gun in it, uh, what we want to do is we want to stop and pick up as much ammo as we can. Uh, higher value ammo, the better. And it's just a matter of learning what value is worth most, but... Um, Basically, for a start, just pick up anything. Pistol mags, uh, gun mags, pick up a gun if you can, because you can always sell that. We want to pick up enough ammo to um, to be able to afford a backpack. Uh, and the backpack we want to buy is 9,000 coins when we're talking on a coin server. So stop and do that on your way. Okay, so we just actually found a dead guy with a gun on it that will sell for a bit, which is good. That'll save us a bit of time. Okay, so these are the sort of buildings, these warehouse type buildings are the... These buildings to the left of this is also a good source of loot. So we'll go check it out. So why can't I fit that gun in? I will take the ammo. This weapon I've got is actually worth about 9,000, so that's enough. But I can never have too much money. So now my task is to make it to the trader without dying. So here we are at the trader. So when we get here, just remember that there are other players around, although you're in a safe zone. And you can't really be killed. You can be run over and stuff, but it's hard to do because vehicles only go a certain speed. The other thing to remember is that you can only trade what is on your person itself, nothing that's in your backpack. So that doesn't matter, we've got nothing in our backpack. So what we want to do is go to the trader. The most important trader you'll probably use for this is um, the Overpock trader, which is this guy here. If this guy doesn't set buy or sell the guns you want, then try. The, he, this guy's a standard trader. He sells the, and buys other guns that the Overpock trader may not. Anything you can sell shows up as this color in your bag. So we click sell and wait for it to go through. Now, if you've got more than one to sell, We'll go through um, trading one of one, trading two of two. I've just traded that. As you can see, my coins have gone up by 300, which is what I just sold that for. Annoying thing is we have to go in and do it for each ammo. We can't just sell all. So it can take a while. So pretty much, so sell everything you want. All right. well, it looks like we can't sell the um, 
Okay, so VK here. Some item, some guns you just can't sell at all. Others that can only be sold at the hero trader. You got to be a hero, or the bandit trader where you got to be a bandit. So what we want to, what I'm going to do anyway is um, is get the a backpack that I can afford. The first thing, so we go to this trade. So we go to this trader here. Go to backpacks and have a look. So we've got two thousand nine hundred coins. So the one I want is the coyote backpack. Which is nine thousand, which I obviously can't afford. I can't afford the Alice pack. Oh, we can't afford the salt pack. Can't afford the British. So I think we'll just get the Alice pack for now. So we're going to sell our old one. It only gives us five, oh, three coins, but any coins a coin. If you don't sell it, it just disappears when you buy a new one. So then we're going to buy. And we'll check the Alice pack. We'll buy the Alice pack. So the Alice pack has room for 20 slots. Which I think gives us room for two guns. I guess we'll soon find out. The other thing you want to do is, if you're on a server with banks, is put all your money before you go off again. In the bank that way if you die at least you've got something if you want you can purchase a pistol or pistol ammo um, we've got one with some ammo which is enough the next thing what we want to do is we're going to go down to the lumber mill in the Berezino area and do some looting so the idea is we're going to go down there fill our bags up and come back up and sell and do that a number of times until we uh, can afford the backpack we want and some other items. Uh, the, a good place to start is along the docks here. You can go across to the lumber mill uh, here and then up into the, the main towns into Berezino where there's the, the the residential areas and that. So once again, pick up stuff to sell. Eventually you get to the point where you don't bother picking up ammo. You want to save all your space for guns, but until you get the big, um, the bigger backpack, you pretty much want to pick up most, most ammo. So, some more ammo for us. Jerry can, not really interested in that. Don't want the wheel. Had a toolbox. Probably get that car going. So unless I find a toolbox in here somewhere. Here's a gun. What is it? It's an ACR. Now the ACRs are worth a little bit. About 5,000 coins each roughly, a little bit less depending on the variant. So ACRs are a high, high priority weapon. There's is a higher priority, but as far as this stage goes, it's a good one to pick up. And just make sure you don't put too many guns in your bag so you don't delete them. So there you go, that bag's full of guns. Um, I've got some more ammo. So basically, keep running around these areas until you have full bags. This is a fairly good area. It's fairly low traffic uh, most of the time, but always be careful. And yeah, as I said before, continue up into uh, uh, Berezino and into the main town. So do the residential buildings and that as well, if you've got space. The next um, task, once you've got full bags, like I'm just going to do it now, is to run back up to the trader, which is at the top of this hill, which can't hasn't spawned in our view yet, and sell that stuff and upgrade our bag if we can afford it. You get back to the trader, do the same thing, remembering that you can only sell what's in your hands, not in your backpack. So yeah, sell 
weapons you got. As you can see, this one's for sale. So that's sell for 3,000 coins, which is not bad when you're um, just starting. ACR, 4,900. Yeah. If it says that you haven't got it, try it again. Does that sometimes. So once you've sold everything, So I've got 7,900 coins now. Uh, I can now go and take my other coins out of the bank and upgrade my backpack to the Coyote, which is the best one that you can buy from a normal trader. There is bigger ones you can get. Uh, you need them, they come from missions, uh, large gun bags and such. And this one holds 50 slots. I think it can hold four, four weapons, five weapons, something like that. Obviously, well, each weapon takes up eight slots. Um, and basically, continue doing it. Oh, if I was going to do it again now, I would buy a bike um, or an ATV. ATV is probably safer than a bike. They're a bit faster. You can buy them for. Well, I haven't quite got enough. Uh, so you can buy a mountain bike again for 120 gold coins or buy a toolbox. Um, as you move on and as you build up money, the next thing I would get, um, I would save up is to buy a, from the Overpock Trader, the best car for doing this sort of stuff in is if, if you buy yourself especially, is a Nissan 350Z. They go about 100 k's an hour on grass and it makes this a lot quicker. Uh, you can lock your vehicles in this game, so just make sure you do that. Uh, basically, load up um, your backpack, then go and load it into the car, then refill your backpack, and do so until the car's full and your backpack's full. Then you come back up here and trade again. Always remember to put your leftover money in the bank. That way, if you die, it's there, and you haven't lost anything, well, apart from what you're carrying on you. Um, Hopefully if you die, you'll have 9,000 coins. You can just buy a new backpack and continue on. Uh, it's quicker once again, if you have a friend with you and you've got a helicopter, drop them off and you can keep an eye out from above. But that's it. Basically, that's a quick overview of how to make um, some money when you're starting on a server in Overpock. That's how we did it. I'm not saying it's the best way, uh, but it's a way that we find useful. If you've got any questions or comments, post below. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you later.